What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Denim and if you're new around here, I share content around my DJI Mini 2, drone filmmaking tips and tricks and how to get the best video from your drone. So today I'm out in uh, a new spot that I discovered. It's actually a really cool, cool little place near a lake that I found and um, it's always nice finding a place that you can fly your drone because it's very limited and we don't really have too much choice when it comes to drone filmmaking and capturing content with your drone but take a look at kind of my surroundings here um, some really beautiful sunset shots that I'm hopefully be able to get today there's no one around which makes it a, you know a bit more of a bonus um, it's always nice not having spectators when you're flying your drone it's probably one of the worst things I'm going to use my mini 2 it's got my black Black Hawk decal on it. I'm going to try to capture cinematic footage by using the Quick Shots feature on the DJI Fly app. And I've used it once before. It turned out okay. Um, I've kind of gone back and practiced a few more things. And I wanted to show you guys some of the moves and how you can use them on your videos. So let's get into it. All right, so that's me there. I'm in Quick Shots. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select which one that I actually want to do. So there's a drone, a rocket circle a helix and a boomerang so let's try a drony this one's really really popular it's basically where the drone sets up in front of you and then backs away to show show off what's around you and the landscape it's a really great revealing shot on the right hand corner there'll be a little option here to choose quick shots you click the little film icon and then there's quick shots right there click the box draws this draws a box around me once i click that I choose the distance and I'm going to choose, let's go with 50 meters and I'm just going to click Three, start. Two, one. The next one I want to show you is called a rocket. So basically you set the drone up in front of you, go over and flick over to the rocket option. Once you do that, you get the option to select a target, which is me. So I'm going to choose me and I'm going to, and then I'm going to set my altitude. Hang on, it's losing me subject. I'm going to set the altitude at 50 meters. So once that's done, all I'm going to do is click start and the drone's going to do its thing. As a drone filmmaker, it's really important to have different moves, enough variety, and Quick Shots is such a cool way to do this. And you literally don't need to spend a whole heap of time anywhere. You just select your subject. I always talk about the importance of having that. Set the drone in motion and let it do, it thi do its thing and just comes back to exactly where it started. All right, let's try another one. And for the next one, I may have to move and relocate because I want to do something called a helix. So I'm going to fly around for a couple more minutes, see what else there is around here, and then I'll take you guys to a new spot so I can do a helix and also a bit of a 360 panorama. Stay tuned for that. The next one I'm going to show you is in quick shots is called the circle and that's really really simple as you could imagine it's just a drone doing a circle around you so I'm just going to get it faced away from me again get it as close as possible all right it's going to tell you that obstacle avoidance it doesn't work because obviously the mini 2 doesn't have obstacle avoidance and I'm going to hit start and then the drone's gonna 
do its thing. There is something else I would do with this and that is probably get it a bit higher as well. I'm going to do it from a different height. So again, just going to click start. Let's see what this looks like. You can see the result of that. It looks really cool when you do that. Now, let's move on. Uh, the next one I'm gonna show you is a helix. So, gonna go into quick shots. I'm gonna select helix, draw a square around me, and then I'm gonna choose the max radius, and I'm gonna set it to however much you want, but I've got this tree next to me, so I'm just gonna set it at 20 meters. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna back it up and actually get it a little higher. There we go. And I'm just going to click start. and this is a boomerang. All I'm doing here is set the drone up to where I'm happy with it, get back into quick shots, and then I'm gonna choose boomerang, select my target, which is me. Three, two, one. And let's see what this does. I actually prefer that shot a lot more than I did the Helix. So that might be one I use a little bit more often than, than the Helix, for example. But I do have magpies around me. I do have people around me. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a fly around and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back home and start the editing process. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Whoa, I got a magpie. Where was I? That's crazy. If you did enjoy this, make sure to subscribe to the channel to watch my drone get attacked by magpies a little bit more often. I hope you got some value out of this and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, bye.